Hey guys, uh, we're, we got a question from the audience. Um, the name though on the question was some company name, so we didn't know who it was. Um, so please, whoever you are, uh, if you happen to say thank you to this video, put your name. But anyways, um, so the question was, uh, <coughs> we actually have a three transactions. One, uh, two, three. And it's a, actually, I would say four. So there's one B here. So the first one is a purchase of quantity one, um, and it's for $100. And then there is an item charge. So I would say that's a purchase as well. Item charge, uh, quantity is obviously one. And that's at uh, $50, and it's applied to this transaction. Uh, then we have a purchase uh, quantity 19 uh, at 150 and then we have a sale of quantity 10 uh, at uh, 200 so we have here from these purchases that the unit cost is 150 obviously so we apply the $50 to that one so this becomes 150 um, and then we have 19 at 150 so that basically makes it 20 at 150 then we sell 10 at 200 and so the person was expecting the unit cost of this sale to be 150 so the unit cost here should be 150 because it's coming from here makes sense and for some reason they were not getting that uh, and I actually ran through this, this example with the spring because we're waiting for spring here in New York City coffee mug uh, and did just these transactions straight on that and I did get uh, 150 I'm gonna run through that in the system in the screen share so the question is why did it not work for this person and there are reasons there can be reasons so and I'm going to show you that in the screen share why but there's a there are two things that I can think of the costing method you know what was that we have options in the costing method we have uh, FIFO LIFO standard average and specific so it could be any one of those and they all work differently and I could affect this although in this case I think you can run this example through almost all of these except maybe specific and standard and get similar results but anyways um, the other thing could be the cost adjust routine that's a routine that updates the cost maybe that didn't run maybe that was set not to run and I'll show you where to set that on so to make sure that that always posts right. Good example, very educational. Maybe we'll get into costing. We could spend months in costing, but anyways, um, we'll see. So let's check out the video. Okay, so let's go over this example. And again, thanks for posting this example. We have uh, a purchase of an item, quantity one, and the item charge is $50. So the direct cost is 150 and then we have purchased the same item at 150 dollars 19 so we have now 20 and direct cost 150 so that's the same and then we sell 10 of those for 200 dollars and then when they open up the item cart and click on unit cost the average cost is showing 200 but they were expecting 150. Um, now i went through this example right here with the spring coffee mug and if I go into the history uh, actually navigate into the item transactions right here <clears throat> I have three transactions I have one for 150 it's actually a hundred dollars cost purchase and fifty dollars as an item charge that I assigned now that you've seen all my item charts videos you know how to do that <laughs> and then we have a purchase receipt for 119 at 150 right here so that's just straight at 150 each 
And then finally, we have um, a shipment for 10 to uh, 200, so 2000. And you can see the cost amount actually is 150. So it's doing it correctly. Um, but why could it be incorrect? A um, couple of reasons. First of all, the costing method. I mean, I set it up as being average, so this works for an average costing method, but we can have multiple different costing methods. And I, this could be a segue into actually talking about those. But, uh, but as I set it up as average, um, this should run fine with that. Also, what could be an issue is, uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and take a look at the list right here. Uh, there is a column up here, which is called cost is adjusted. Now the system automatically adjusts the cost if it's set up to do so. And if you go into inventory setup, um, you can see that there's a checkbox here called automatic cost posting and co automatic cost adjust. And uh, if that is not set to on, then the system is not adjusting the cost in real time. And uh, you can actually set it to be always or every year, every day. And it's better, it's better to do it always if that's possible. Uh, or if, it's, if the cost adjustment routine is too heavy and you're running a really fast paced business, you might wanna run it manually then overnight. So that, if that is not on, that might be your issue. And you might have to run the cost adjustment manually. Um, <clears throat> so the cost adjustment uh, process is this, adjust cost item entries. So if you actually run this and post to GL, it will basically check off all these boxes and make sure the cost is in line and update all the cost in the system. And like I said, that is basically happening automatically always if it's set up in the item card. So I think uh, by reading through your example, that actually might be the issue. Um, you might not have that uh, checked off. So I hope that answered you. And also a good lesson for the rest of us to take a look at these complicated situations. Or it could be the costing method, uh, either or.